Welcome to this video. Today, you're going to learn the difference between during and while. This is a question that a student had asked and it's a great question, so I'm happy to answer it. Of course, I'm Jennifer from j4senglish.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you feel confident speaking English in public so you can take your career and your life to the next level. Now, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. Now, let's dive in with this video. Let's talk about the difference between during and while. Ultimately, they have the same meaning, but their sentence structure is different. So that's the important thing to keep in mind. So let's begin with during. We use during to talk about something that happens over a period of time. So there's this event taking place over a period of time and then something happens. It happens at one point during that time. It can also even last for a longer period as well during that period of time. So for example, I could say, my phone rang during the movie. So of course, a movie has a start and an end about two hours, right? So the movie's going on and on and on. And then at some point from the start of the movie to the end of the movie, my phone rang. It could have been at the beginning, the middle, the end. We really don't know. But I want you to notice the sentence structure. My phone rang during the movie. So what is the movie in terms of parts of speech? Is it a verb, an adjective, a noun, an adverb? What is it? It's a noun, a noun. And that's the important thing to keep in mind. We use during plus noun, during plus noun. So remember that, because that's important when we talk about while. While is used to talk about something that happens at the same time as something else. So just like during, we have one action that's taking place with a start and an end. And then while, another action will happen at some point as well. Now it can happen for a period of time, it can be shorter or longer, but it has to happen between the start and the end of another action. So if you're thinking, well, that sounds exactly the same as during, because with during, we had a start and an end and then an action happens. You're right, the meaning is basically the same, okay? but it's the sentence structure that's different. So listen to this example. My phone rang while I was watching the movie. My phone rang while I was watching the movie. Comparing that to during. My phone rang during the movie. So we already know that during we need a noun. With while, we use a clause. So we need a subject, a verb, and then an object. So you can think of it as a sentence. My phone rang while subject, I, then verb, was watching the object, the movie. While I was watching the movie. I can't say while the movie. I can't say that. And I can't say during I was watching the movie. I can't say that either. So basically it's the same meaning, it's just different sentence structures that will tell you which one you want to use. If you're using a noun, it's during. If you're using a clause or a sentence, then it's while. So now it's your turn to practice. I want you to leave two examples in the comments below, one with during and one with while. And if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe. And if you're a busy professional who's serious about improving your English so you can take your career and your life to the next level, then I want you to go to my website, j4senglish.com. There, you'll find a free case study where you'll learn how to feel confident speaking English in public so you can impress your boss and clients with your message in only 30 days. To get your free case study, simply click the button enter your name and email, and you'll get instant access to the case study. And until next time, happy studying.
Awesome job! It's learning the subtle differences in sentence structure and mastering these concepts that will really take your English to the next level and help you sound very fluent and advanced. So make sure you leave your examples in the comments below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!